It's our top story tonight. Millions of supplies have been delivered around Texas, but there still isn't enough personal protective equipment for our doctors, nurses and emergency workers. As our own David Lippman shows us, some of them are resorting to creative methods to stay as safe as possible. Governor Greg Abbott has touted the amount of PPE being distributed to Texas hospitals, but Dr. Charles Lerner, an infectious disease specialist, says it still isn't enough. And sometimes we don't even have surgical masks, in which case you need to use a scarf. It's not very effective, but it's better than nothing. Dr. Lerner is part of the Texas Medical Association's COVID-19 task force. He says doctors are doing whatever they can to prolong the life of their N95 masks, including putting a surgical mask over it to keep it from getting contaminated or rotating them. You uh, put it in a paper bag, and the next day you use another fresh mask and put it in a paper bag. You keep doing that for a series of seven days, and then at the end of the week, you open up the first paper bag and take out the mask, and by that time, the virus is gone. Some researchers want to know if baking a mask would sanitize it, but Dr. Lerner said that's a bad idea. It would destroy the fabric. It would damage the fabric of the mask and make it less efficient. He added that we can all play a part in making sure people on the front lines have the supplies they need. And that's by not wearing N95 masks ourselves. Because it does not protect them from infection for a number of reasons, most of which is they're not properly fit tested. And more masks for doctors and nurses means we'll all be safer in the long run. The first thing you have to do is take care of the caregivers. Because if you don't take care of the caregivers, pretty soon they're probably going to get care of the sick. We've got you covered, East Texas. David Littman, CBS 19.